thermodynamics test questions set number three. Question one which among the following is an intensive property of a system? A. Volume. B. Energy. C. Pressure. D. All of the above. Answer. Pressure. Explanation. Intensive properties are independent of mass in a system and pressure does not depend upon mass in the system. Pressure, temperature etc. are some of the examples of intensive properties. Question 2. The characteristic of a material or a body which is taken as an indication of change in temperature is known as A. Thermodynamics property B. Thermostatic property C. Thermometric property. D. None of the ab None of the above. Answer. Thermometric property. Explanation. Thermal equilibrium is achieved by heat transfer between two bodies which are at different temperature. To obtain a quantitative measure of the temperature of any body. A reference body is used and a particular physical characteristic of that reference body is selected which changes with temperature is with temperature. The change in the selected characteristic is the indication as change in temperature. This selected characteristic is called as thermometric property, and the reference body is called as thermometer. Mercury is a common example of the thermometer. Question 3 work involved in a thermodynamic process is A. A path function. B. A point function. C. A transfer function. D. None of the above. Answer. A path function. Explanation. As shown in above diagram, the thermodynamic system can be taken from state 1 to state 2 along many quasi-static paths like path A, B or C. The area under the curve indicates the amount of work done for each process. But those areas under each curve each curve is different. Therefore the work involved does not depend upon the final state B but it depends upon the path by which the system is taken to the final state. Thus the work involved in thermodynamic process is a path function. Question 4 Clausius statement is related to A. Heat engine operating in a cycle B. Heat pump operating in a cycle C. Both A and B D. None of the above Answer, heat pump operating in a cycle Explanation Clausius' statement of second law of thermodynamics states that, it is impossible to construct a device heat pump, operating in a cycle, whose sole effect is to transfer of heat from a cooler body to a hotter body, without expending any work input. Heat pump is, pump is a device which transfers heat from a cooler body to a hotter body but with expending considerable amount of work. Heat always flows from a hotter body to cooler body spontaneously, but the reverse of this is not possible spontaneously. Heat cannot flow of itself from body at a lower temperature to a body at a higher temperature. Temperature. Some work has to be expended to run a heat pump. Question 5 Considering relation between Kelvin Planck and Clausius statement, if one statement between the two is violated then A. Other one may be or may not be violated. B. Other one is also violated. C. Other one must be correct must be correct. D. None of the above. Answer. Other one is also violated. Explanation. Kelvin Planck and Clausius statements look different but both are, are the parallel statements of second law of thermodynamics. Consider. A heat pump absorbs heat Q1 from a cold reservoir which is at temperature T2 and transfers it to a hot reservoir which is at temperature T1 without expenditure of any work. This heat pump violates the Clausius statement. Now consider, 
a heat engine absorbs same heat Q1 which is transferred by heat pump in the hot reservoir at temperature T1 and produces a new work W and rejects some heat energy Q2 to the cold reservoir at temperature T2, as heat engine absorbs heat Q1 which is the same heat absorbed by heat pump from the cold reservoir at T2. It shows that the heat engine is exchanging heat only with single reservoir at single fixed temperature T2. This violates the Kelvin-Planck statement. Therefore, if one statement between the kelvin planck clausius statement is violated, then the other one is also violated. Question 6 In which process, every state passes by the system is an equilibrium state? A. Quasi-static process. B. Reversible process. C. Both A. And B. D. None of the above. Answer, both A and B. Explanation, a reversible process is the process in which, after completing the process, both the system and surroundings can be restored to their initial state, without producing any change is the rest of the universe equivalence of Kelvin Planck and Clausius statement. Let us consider a system as at state state 1 and it is taken to the state 1 quasi-statically by following a path 1 to 2. Again the system is taken reversibly to its initial state 1 from state 2 again quasi-statically by following the same path 2-1. Then this process is called reversible process. A reversible process is carried out in and out infinitely slowly, so that every state passed through by the system is an equilibrium state. Thus reversible process coincides with a quasi-static process. Question 7 The diagram below shows the Carnot cycle. What is the total quantity of heat added in the system? A. Area under 41. B. Area under 41, area under 23. C. Area enclosed by 1234. D. None of the above. Answer. Area under 4-1. Question 8 Which condition is correct according to the entropy principle? A. The entropy of an isolated system can never decreases. B. The entropy of a system remains constant only when the process is reversible. C. The entropy of a system increases when the process increases when the process is irreversible. D. All of the above. Answer, all of the above. Question 9 What is available energy A? E. A. Energy supplied to a cyclic heat engine. B. Maximum energy utilized to produce maximum work from a certain heat supplied to a cyclic heat engine. C. Minimum heat energy rejected to sink to sink by second law. D. Maximum heat energy rejected to sink by second law. Answer, maximum energy utilized to produce maximum work from a certain heat supplied to a cyclic heat engine. Question 10 What is unavailable energy U? E. A. Energy supplied to a cyclic heat engine. B. Maximum energy utilized to produce maximum work from a certain heat supplied to a cyclic heat engine. C. Minimum heat energy rejected to sink to sink by second law. D. Maximum heat energy rejected to sink by second law. Answer. Minimum heat energy rejected to sink by second law. Question 11 What is the effect on exergy output of a process, when heat is transferred through a finite temperature difference? A. Exergy output increases. B. Exergy output decreases. C. Exergy output remains same. D. N D. None of the above.
Answer. Exergy output decreases. Question 12 What is the saturated solid state? A. A state at which solid can change into liquid at constant pressure but changing temperature. B. A state at which solid can change into liquid at constant temperature but change in pressure. C. A state at which solid can change solid can change into liquid at constant pressure and temperature. D. None of the above. Answer. A state at which solid can change into liquid at constant pressure and temperature. Question 13 What is the state, at which saturated liquid line with respect to vaporization and saturated vapor line on PV diagram of pure substance, meet called? A. Saturation state. B. Critical state. C. Vaporization state. Vaporization state. D. Superheated vapor state. Answer. Critical state. Question 14. The volume occupied by one number of unit moles of gas is called as A. Molecular volume. B. Moles volume. C. Molar volume. D. None of the above. Answer, molar volume. Question 15 A gas being the best behaved thermodynamic substance, what is the relation between the ratio of pressure P of a gas at any temperature to pressure Pt of same gas at triple point temperature and the nature of gas? A. The ratio P, Pt approaches a constant value which is dependent of and value which is dependent of nature of gas. B. The ratio P. Pt approaches a constant value which is independent of nature of gas. C. The ratio P, Pt approaches a various values which are dependent of nature of gas. D. None of the above. Answer. The ratio P Pt approaches a constant value which is independent of nature of gas. Question 16 What is the inversion curve in enthalpic expansion or Joule Kelvin expansion? A. The locus of all points at which Joule Kelvin coefficient is negative. B. The locus of all points at which Joule Kelvin coefficient is positive. C. The locus of all locus of all points at which Joule Kelvin coefficient is zero. D. None of the above. Answer, the locus of all points at which Joule Kelvin coefficient is zero. Question 17 The temperature at which the inversion curve in the graph of isentropic state of a gas intersects with temperature axis is A. A minimum inversion temperature B. A maximum inversion temperature C. A cooling temperature D. D. A heating temperature Answer, a maximum inversion temperature. Question 18 Which is the affecting factor for the fact that turbine work output is more than pump work input in vapor power cycle for the same pressure ratio? A. Specific heat added to the working fluid. B. Specific volume of working fluid. C. Both A. C. Both A. And B. D. Answer, specific volume of working fluid. Question 19 Which loss does present an actual vapor power cycle at the exit of the boiler and at the entry of the turbine? A. Friction loss. B. Constant pressure heat loss. C. Both A. And B. D. None of the above.
Answer, both A and B. Question 20 How can we differentiate Rankine cycle from Carnot cycle? A. Heat addition process of Rankine cycle is reversible isothermal whereas heat addition process of Carnot cycle is reversible isobaric. B. Heat addition process of Rankine cycle is reversible isobaric whereas heat addition process of Carnot cycle is re reversible isothermal. C. Heat addition process of Rankine cycle is reversible isentropic whereas heat addition process of Carnot cycle is reversible isothermal. D. Both cycles are identical or identical except the working fluid used. Answer. Heat addition process of Rankine cycle is reversible isobaric whereas heat addition process of Carnot cycle is reversible isothermal. Question 21 How is the efficiency of the C engine affected by change in specific heat ratio of the working fluid? A. The efficiency of the engine increases with increase in specific heat ratio of the working fluid. B. The efficiency of the engine decreases with increases with increase in specific heat ratio of the working fluid. C. The efficiency of the engine does not affected by change in specific heat ratio of the working fluid. D. None of the above. Answer. The efficiency of the engine increases with increase in specific heat ratio of the working fluid. Question 22 For the same capacity engines, the compression ratio of diesel engine A. Is lower than the compression ratio of C engine. B. Is higher than the compression ratio of C engine. C. Is same as the compression ratio of C engine. O of C engine. D. Cannot say. Answer. Is higher than the compression ratio of SI engine. Question 23 Rate of burning in the compression ignition engine can be controlled by A. Rate of injection of fuel B. Rate of air taken into carburetor C. Both A and B. D. None of the above. Answer. Rate of injection of fuel. Question 24 The below diagram is the PV diagram of the auto, diesel and dual cycles for the same compression ratio. Which in the diagram is the path followed by the diesel cycle? A. 12471 B 123571 C 71 C 12671 D None of the above Answer 1 minus 2 minus 6 minus 7 minus 1 Question 25 The Braden cycle which is used in aircraft Automotive is A. A closed cycle B. An open cycle C. Either closed or open cycle D. Cannot say Answer, an open cycle Question 26 The heat required to melt 1 ton of ice in 12 hours is equivalent to A. 1 ton of refrigeration B. 2 ton of refrigeration C. Half ton of refrigeration D. 4 ton of refrigeration Answer. 2 ton of refrigeration. Question 27 1 ton of refrigeration is approximately equal to A. 3.5 kilojoules per minute. B. 
3.5 W. C. 211 kilowatts. D. 211 kilojoules per minute. Answer, 211 kilojoules per minute. Question 28 What is the main reason behind subcooling of liquid refrigerant at the condenser outlet in vapor compression refrigeration system? A. To increase the refrigerating effect. B. To reduce the mass of vapor formed during expansion process. C. To C. To reduce vapor bubbles which obstruct the flow of liquid refrigerant. D. All of the above. Answer, all of the above. Question 29 What is the result of superheating a vapor at the evaporator outlet? A. No liquid droplets will travel to the compressor. B. The compressor discharge temperature increases. C. Both A. And B. D. None of the above. Answer, both A and B. Question 30 Which expansion device is capable of regulating the flow of refrigerant according to the load on the evaporator? A. Capillary tube. B. Throttle valve. C. Both A and B. D. None of the above. Answer, throttle valve. Question 31 Which compressor is used, when volume flow rate of refrigerant is very large? A. Rotary compressor. B. Reciprocating compressor. C. Centrifugal compressor. D. None of the above. Answer, centrifugal compressor. Question 32 What is the temperature at which the water vapor and the mixture of water vapor and air, starts condensing called? A. Condensation temperature. B. Dew point temperature. C. Vaporization temperature. D. All of the above. Answer, dew point temperature. Question 33 The temperature of air recorded by thermometer when the bulb is covered by a cotton wick saturated by water is called as A. Dry bulb temperature. B. Wet bulb temperature. C. Stream temperature. D. Sichrometric sichrometric temperature. Answer, wet bulb temperature. Question 34 Which temperature can be measured by an instrument called sichrometer? A. Dry bulb temperature. B. Wet bulb temperature. C. Both A and B. D. None of the above. Answer, both A and B. Question 35 What is the purpose of using economizer in the boiler? A. To heat feed water by utilizing heat from exhaust gases. B. To heat feed water by utilizing some heat from superheated steam. C. To superheat steam. D. N D. None of the above. Answer, to heat feed water by utilizing heat from exhaust gases. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like and share.